Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how to use extension mobility on my demo kit here configured with CCA 3.0. Now, two things have to happen before you can actually use extension mobility. One, you actually have to have your system administrator leveraging CCA 3.0 add a log out user profile to a telephone. Now what that basically means is within CCA 3.0, I have to make this phone accessible for users to log in. The second thing that's needed is you actually have to have a user profile created to allow a user the access to log into a phone. So again, two things, log in user profile, log out user profile. Now, once that happens, I'm going to zoom in on the display here. I'm going to press my settings key, and you'll notice I've got the option for extension mobility. Scrolling down, selecting that. On my demo kit here, I'm sticking with the theme, The Office. Uh, from the Cisco Small Business Demo Lounge, and I'm going to enter in M. Scott and my password of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, one thing to think about here is when you're entering in the password, make sure that you pay attention to the keys being alphanumeric. Now, just backing out here, you can see that my phone has changed from extension 210 and is now extension 201. So just making a quick test call to it. Now, Michael Scott, or M. Scott, here at 201, has a ringing telephone. It's also carried with me a few extra buttons that I've gotten programmed. So I've got my speed dial keys. I've got a privacy button for shared lines, and I also have a shared DN key program. So Michael Scott wants to process calls on 801, on 201, or whichever, those can happen too. Those will literally follow me from phone to phone that I log into via extension mobility. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Extension Mobility.